right now. Medial side of the calcaneus, and there's there's another space I just found, so there might be more pus coming out. So, not the ideal situation to be in. Didn't believe the radiologist when he when he called gas, you know. So we are delving into this abscess here, and I'm assuming there's more where that came from. You don't like that noise? Can I have a pickup, please? So the smell is not too good. Brown would be good. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah, that doesn't smell good. So. Mm hmm. Probably need another um, lap. Well, I'm glad we did this today because he needed it. Oh, yeah. So that's bad. See the dark? That's You don't want to see that. You do not want to see that. Brown, you know. Hold on a second. Yeah, thanks. Okay, we're going to express some of this out. You want to put the pan underneath? I don't know if you want to collect this, but <laughs> we you are going to... We are, sorry, did I just... Uh, oh, sure. no. Okay. Oh, we will, but let me get this out first. I thought there was going to be more, but the problem is, is the calcaneus, when you look at it on radiograph, is, um, oh my God, look how fluctuant this is. So the calcaneus basically is eaten away. It looks like a mountainous range um, from all the uh, bony erosion. Scary thing when you do that, right? You never know when you pop a pocket. Can I, but he missed that. <clears throat> so now we'll look for, oh, there it goes on its own. There we go. So that goes all the way probe to bone. I'm hitting the calcaneus right now. So now what I do is I take my little hemostat and I check where it tracks. So I go this way, and it's all the way back here. And the smell does not smell good. Um, goes all the way that way. That's pretty darn deep. Lordy. So this is chronic. Um, this didn't happen overnight. This guy, uh, history of uh, non-compliance for uh, diabetes and a uh, history of chronic wound to this left foot. Um, he was treating the wound apparently with cinnamon, um, taking that for infection or prevention of infection, which, you know, some people do to boost their immune system, but it didn't work. So now, unfortunately, this gentleman is probably gonna, is gonna undergo a partial calconectomy because the bone is probably all infected. So I'm up the lateral side of the calcaneus right now, medial side of the calcaneus, and there's there's another space I just found, so there might be more pus coming out. Yep. So, not the ideal situation to be in. But it's going to feel much better after I drain all this. I could not press on his medial ankle. His medial ankle has uh, at least plus three pitting edema. Are you good? Okay. I'm not going to force you to do anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know you've seen it all, but still. Yeah, I know. I know. So that was true. True gas gangrene. Just didn't look bad. Usually the foot's falling off um, by the time they present to the hospital. Take any oh no! So, IDSA guidelines is you take the deepest culture possible. So you don't take this stuff; you shove it in there. Suction it up. Suction it up. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can suction it up. I don't need it. 
I mean, I guess we can estimate the number of cc's, but it doesn't really matter. You don't want to keep that around? <laughs> Bones right there. Uh, do we have, um, well, no, I gotta push more. I'm gonna reposition the foot. I'm gonna push on laterally. Okay, so we finished getting rid of all the pus from the foot, and now we are just uh, irrigating it. So the old uh, saying is, the solution to pollution is dilution. So we are diluting the heck out of this uh, infected area. We took two bone cultures. We're going to send that out. We also took two swab sticks to uh, check for uh, cultures through that route. But um, really, the definitive thing is checking for bone osteomyelitis infection the bone. Most likely, it's going to be there. So then the question is, is you cut off the calcaneus? or do you treat with six weeks of antibiotics and see what happens. So we'll see, and we'll keep you tuned. We'll see you next time, guys.